Have you heard those birth horror stories about women breaking blood vessels in their eyes? Or how about those stories about people who have urinary incontinence for months after birth? Now, both of these can be side effects of something referred to as purple pushing. Purple pushing is known also by the medical terms Valsalva maneuver or closed glottis pushing. It's a style of pushing where you are direct coached, usually by your labor and delivery nurse. Now, the good news is that there are other options for pushing. So in today's video, we are going to cover those options and make sure you stay until the end for the exact phrases that I suggest you include on your birth plan when it comes to pushing. Let's walk through what purple pushing or direct coach pushing looks like. Direct coach pushing generally looks like a nurse instructing you to take a deep breath in, to put your chin to your chest, and to bear down or push while holding this breath in, usually to a count of 10. Now, this strenuous process is repeated through the length of the contractions, which is generally three or four pushes per contraction. Now, if you've given birth before and you've experienced this type of pushing, you've probably heard words like from the nurse, like hold your breath or push harder. And as you can imagine, this type of direct pushing style, it's really intense and it can cause your face to turn purple, hence the name purple pushing. And you might even end up with bloodshot eyes the next day due to tiny little capillaries that burst with that intensity. But there are two other pushing styles that I wanna make sure that you're aware of before you're 10 centimeters dilated and ready to push. The first one is called open glottis pushing. This technique is where you take a deep breath in, but this time you exhale slowly while you bear down. And it helps to visualize directing this breath down towards your rectum and your vagina. And because pushing a baby out is so similar to pooping, you can actually practice open glottis pushing next time you're on the toilet, having a bowel movement. Did I just suggest practicing pushing while pooping? Yes, I did. It's a great time to practice. So what it looks like is a deep breath in and then a slow exhale. So it could look like this. It could also look like The other option is to take a deep breath in and make a grunting or groaning or vocalization sound as you push towards that pressure feeling that is in your vagina or your rectum. Something like that. To recap, that's two other options, a deep breath and a slow exhale or a deep breath and a grunting noise. Now, research done on purple pushing has shown that it can decrease the pushing phase of labor by, by around 5 to 15 minutes on average. But the American College of OBGYNs gives a clear recommendation to doctors to support the options that are working for the woman giving birth. Their exact recommendation is, quote, when not coached to breathe in a specific way, women push with an open glottis in consideration of the limited data regarding superiority of spontaneous versus valsava pushing each woman should be encouraged to use her preferred and most effective technique so in addition to the leading obgyn group the leading group of labor and delivery nurses awan instructs the members of their organization to quote in support of women during the second stage of labor, the nurse will promote mother-initiated pushing and open glottis pushing, assist the woman to maintain upright, gravity-neutral positions, and encourage grunting, groaning, or vocalization during the push in response to contractions. And finally, ACNM, the American College of Nurse Midwives, have also supported a person's right to spontaneous pushing. What this means for you is that you should have the option to push how you want. Now I said should there, because not all doctors, midwives, and nurses are following these recommendations. If you would like to avoid purple pushing in labor, I highly recommend talking to your care provider prenatally about your preferences and express these preferences on your birth plan. You could use this exact phrase on your birth plan. Quote, 
I would like to work with my body's own urge to push and prefer not to be direct coach during pushing unless necessary. And because there's research that says changing positions while pushing can also be effective at shortening the length of pushing, you might also consider adding this to your birth plan as well. Quote, I am interested in changing positions while pushing and would like to try side lying and upright positions. If you're interested in shortening the time that you're in labor, then I recommend you checking out this video right here where I share my favorite positions for speeding up labor. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this. And I'll see you next time. Bye.